didn't I recently tell y'all that people are getting bored with a lot of the rap gimmicks, the trends, people are looking for experiences. Now, Juicy J made a video saying how rap music is down by 40%. Why is that? This tweet here explains a percentage of it as well. Y'all are flexing things that are not relatable. Hell, half of y'all rappers don't even relate to it. In this post that Wallow made on Instagram, he speaks about how the rap game is changing and a lot of these rappers are flailing around panicking. And the reason why it is failing or changing is because a lot of the consumers and fans are looking for authenticity. They are not going for the gimmicks and the trends anymore. They know when your numbers are fake. They're not going for, you know, you showing off your gun and all this type of stuff of that nature. Offset also recently did an interview speaking on this a little bit. Yourself and like, people want to see that shit. Like, I feel like people tired of like the boring shit. Right, right. And like, I just want to distance myself from uh, the rap. Like, they put us in the box. Like, the rappers, the rap. Like, I'm an artist, bro. Like, I'm, I'm into creative direction. I'm into directing my own shit. Also, I can't find a clip right now, but Offset also mentioned in, in another interview that he feels like a lot of the kids or consumers or whatever are looking for rock stars. They want that rock star experience and not just walking up and down the stage, one set, not doing much of anything that's boring. Now, I'm not saying all rappers are going to just die out. They're not making any money from it or whatever, because there are some rappers that are still very successful by doing that. But they also have a story as well to them. Which is why I said previously that it's so smart that Offset went ahead and transitions into showing more of his creative directiveness, um, the choreo. We've seen his personality during the Kai Sinat Twitch stream and also his witty comebacks during the Bobby interview as well. You have rappers who don't release as often, but when they do, the quality of music and the visuals and the experience is going to give. Examples are Kendrick Lamar and Baby Keem. And honestly, to answer Juicy J's question as to how can we fix this, I'm going to say you need to hire more creatives, black creatives behind the scenes. Listen to your producers instead of following the trends that you see on TikTok. We need fresh new ideas. We need fresh creatives behind the scenes who work hard, who are genuine, who are going to change up the dynamics. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that a lot of creative ideas stem from other influential things. But y'all, we are reliving the Y2K and y'all are running it out down to the samples. Y'all are getting very lazy. A way to go about it is it's been done before, but it hasn't been done like this. And I haven't seen anyone do this the way how I can do it. That means that we are going to have to go back to doing research, like genuine research. We are going to have to go back to the practices of finding genuine talents and actually going through the process of making quality music and quality experiences. That's just what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.